All right, it's a wet day today. Really wet. It's been raining all morning. But it's not going to stop us. Well, it might. Um, I found a diagram for the, uh, the Nanoplex. So I'm just going to check the pinouts on that. And just see if I've got any broken wires. Um, I can do that. Uh, I'll even want to take the, uh, the oil stinger off. Here. Six bolts, take that off. It's a bit awkward to get to, but I should be able to see it okay. And uh, I'll just bring the, uh, the oil filter out. That's all I can do, really. So I get some bits and pieces for this bad boy. Here's the head. It doesn't look too bad, actually. Um, I need to lap these valves in, of course. I don't have any uh, lap and paste or the uh, little suction cups that go on there. I mean, they're cheap enough, I'll get them. And I'll need some spring compressors to get these um, collets out, get the springs out. I'll give it a good clean. I'll be doing that next time I come over. Hopefully the weather's a bit better. Right, so I've just checked all my wiring. Found the wiring diagram. And I found where every wire goes to. Just checked for continuity, make sure there's no breaks in any wires. So I can go to the sensor, <coughs> the, that thing, this sensor, and that plug there that doesn't go anywhere. Uh, and now I've pulled the nanoplex off. I mean, there's this one screw in here, this random screw in there. I don't know if that's right. I don't know if somebody's been tampering with this or what. I'm gonna have a look and see if there's a... Uh, well, I, don't I don't think there's anything I can do. <laughs> I'll have a look. Okay, just got the screw off. Hmm. All right, so there were two screws holding that on. One's missing. So this looks like it's been off before. This is the heat sink. Maybe this is a... Uh, Got too hot. We did not have any other screw on. Maybe it's uh, it's fried. So this could actually be faulty. I don't know. Two six. I don't know if I really want to start prying this open. See if I can check for any earths. So I would guess somebody has already been messing about with this because of a problem with that screw missing. And it's not, I mean, it's quite a big heat sink, really. So I could have, uh, could have, could have fried it. So maybe it is uh, kaput. Oh. For 50 pound. It could be, it could just be that. I mean, I am getting a spark, but it's like, um, it's not consistent. Could be one of the problems, one of many problems. Right, so just put the head back on. It's a torture, that's all. Just put the head back on. Um, just sort of in there, try and get this uh, skimmer off, because I didn't want the pistons going up and down and moving the cylinder heads everywhere. Uh, Right, got all the bolts out with that oil strainer thing. See if I can uh, pop the cuff off. It's coming off. I want to double check. I want to just drop what I want to double check. Hmm. been cleaned out. It looks pretty good. So the plot thickens. This is pretty clean. It's got no crud in it. And the other side's pretty good as well. 
So maybe whoever had this car has looked after it. Oh, it's had a rebuild recently because I mean the head looks pretty good. Mm, I'll just put this back. I'll put it back. There's the notch. So I'll line it up with the casing and get the right screw holes. Right, there was any holes there. Oh, that's good news. So it's probably just the seal. Right, we're just gonna put some gasket sealant around here. Try and make sure we're not get it in the hole. I'll go all around there, I'll just put the camera down. Beautiful. So I've got that in. I've got some gasket sealant around the edges. Got this back into position. Is that right? The teeth on here aren't very good, like. Well, that's a different problem. Right. It's been 10 minutes. I'm going to leave it for a bit. I'm going to go in and get a cup of tea because it's minus two now. Um, it's a little, like, you know, because it's colder, it's going to take longer to set. So I've got some here. Yeah. I'm going to go for a cup of, cup of coffee or a cup of tea and come back out in half an hour and start putting this back together. See if it leaks. <laughs> Right, that was almost a disaster. Um, trying to uh, tighten this back up. I had a bit of string in here to stop the piston from coming all the way at the top. Because that's apparently the way you do it unless you've got the proper tool. Um, I managed to wedge the string inside the piston. <laughs> so I've just spent 20 minutes pulling bits of string out. And now it's, now it turns all right. Right. So, still got a bit of an oil leak. Just realised <laughs> there should be a gasket running along, along here. Certainly up to there. I'm not too sure about this bit. Because um, the oil's just leaking everywhere. So hopefully this is right. We'll find out. Right, got it back together. I'm just going to leave it here for a few minutes while I'm going to more fuel. Just see if anything leaks while it's just sitting here. Hope it doesn't. I'm sick of playing with this now. 